As a two week long festival comes to a close, we take a look back at all the fun and have a final look at the artwork that was created. Eric Freeman has a recap of Silicaga's Marble Festival. The 2018 Magic of Marble Festival has come to a close, but this year's festival has left a lasting impact not only on visitors, but the sculptors as well. Craig Brown commented on how magical this year's festival was. It really has been a great two weeks. Uh, the visitors have been phenomenal. The quality of the sculptures this year are just, just amazing. And what a great group of uh, carvers. Everybody just works together, gets along. I mean, it's truly really magical the way that these people are just diving into the stone and these great creations that are coming out of it. And, uh, you know, as a sculptor that we usually work in solitude and to be able to have an opportunity to sort of come together as a carving community and then share that with the city of Philadelphia as well as people all around the southeast. It, 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 it truly is magical. Dr. Ted Spears said he would give a good grade for this year's festival and feels like they have finally turned the corner. Without hesitating, I'd give it an A. We've been working for 10 years and when we started out, we didn't do some things well and we, didn't do, we did other things wonderfully well. We retained the good and tried to get rid of the bad. And uh, last year we felt like we turned the corner, but this year we absolutely turned the corner. And we've done one of the most exciting marble festivals. We've had more tours, we've had more people, we've had more everything, more publicity. Uh, it seems like all of a sudden uh, just a starburst of activity. Reporting from Silicaga, for TV24 Primetime News, I'm Eric Freeman.